Hello, my name is Jeff Reynolds. I live about oh, two and a half short blocks that away, which would be south. You're looking due west toward Freeport and Portland along the site of the soon to be built layover and maintenance facility for the Down Easter. This is the historical site of Brunswick Railroad Yard. Up until recently, something on the order of 10 to 12 tracks occupied this space, and you see it is it designed along that, that uh, linear fashion like a railroad yard. It's been a railroad yard since before the Civil War, and as the cars behind me show, it is still currently used very much every week, sometimes every day, as an interchange yard between the Maine Eastern and Pan Am. Recently, some video has been taken from a, a telling angle. If you have heard the cliche, a picture can tell a thousand words, I dare say what you're about to see will tell 10,000 or more. Some aerial footage of this site. Here we're observing a, an old locomotive. It looks like a Jeep 9 from the Main Eastern, about to couple into some cars at the interchange site. N now we're taking a east to west overhead view, riding down the yard, if you will, and you can see what a perfect site it is for this purpose. It's a very long and site. It used to have about 10 or 12 tracks. You see some old rails there. Trees on both sides. Evergreen trees, deciduous trees, a rather thick band of trees. You haven't seen a house yet, nor will you until we take another view. This neighborhood where I live is sometimes called Brunswick West. I call it the Church Stanwood site. Now pulling back, Looking to the east from the west, we see the interchange cars in the middle of the picture. The layover facility will be to the left of them. Still, no houses. A thick band of trees on the south side where most of the opposition has been centered. Now we're looking toward the south, and I suppose if I had a great big finger, I could point to my house. We still see a great many trees most of which will be green throughout the year because they're pine trees. I'm glad that the layover facility will be built here instead of anywhere else. Indeed, it cannot function anywhere else. This is the center of railroad activity for Brunswick, always has been, always will be. That will never change. And the alternatives, a freight yard where cars are clanking 24-7, now that might represent an interruption into the, the part of town where I live, but a layover facility where the ro doors are closed after the trains pull in and turn their engines off, this is a, this is a very sensible use of the, the, the site.